Hey guys, welcome to my guide on a day out shooting pictures and videos. So, what do you need? Well, of course you're going to need your camera. Now, for this uh, day out I chose the Nikon D3200 because this is the camera I have and it's a great starter camera. Uh, so, if you are thinking of starting in DSLR photography, I would highly recommend the D3200, especially the fact that it has a guide mode, which I actually used for the whole day when I was doing the shoot because it really um, made it a lot easier. You're going to need a lens. Now, what lens you take depends on what you're doing. For my shoot, I chose the Nikkor 16 to 85mm lens because I was doing some landscape shots because I was like in a natural park but if you were doing for example an air show you may want a telephoto lens so you could get really zoomed in or if you're doing uh, you know maybe landscape obviously a nice wide angle lens um, it really depends what you're doing <clears throat> and you're going to also need a monopod or tripod now for this I chose a monopod because you know it's a lot lighter and it just could be a lot quicker to set up however if you're going for more professional or maybe you want to do some hands free photography then I would definitely could advise a tripod now if you want the more professional um, day out shooting photos and videos I'll have that video up soon as well uh, for the camera bag I chose a small Cobra camera bag now you don't need to choose this one this is quite old model but anything not quite nice and small uh, but you could choose a bigger one if you wanted to take more. Uh, other things you need, obviously a lens cap and the lens hood and maybe a UV filter just to protect the lens and that's about all but you may also want to take some food and stuff like that. Now so how do you set up? So setting up you can just do this quickly on your journey. You could just make sure you're shooting in uh, whatever format you want, or what JPEG, I choose JPEG for this um, and just make sure you have the settings right oh yeah, and also you want to take a strap you can just use the one that came with your camera um, if you want to, you could even take your laptop if you wanted uh, if you want, you know, uh, to do some tethered shooting maybe now the SD card uh, make sure it has enough storage, I chose a, a SanDisk 32GB uh, card because you know I could store tons of photos and videos on there. The spare battery depends what you're doing. Uh, if you're out for a long day I definitely advise getting a spare battery because especially doing videos as well, your battery is going to drain quite quickly and I found at the end of the day I had very little battery life. Hey guys, welcome to a day out shooting video and photographs in the wild. The reason that I might be inclined to use um, live view photography occasionally is because I can see a focused view without my glasses in the LCD display, whereas I can only see a focused view with my glasses and it's very difficult to get to use glasses with a viewfinder. Vale! 